So in this problem, we have a little funky word problem going on. It says when the number is divided by five, the result is seven more than the number. Find the number. Now, whenever we're dealing with the word problem, we always need to like define our variables, understand what it exactly is we're looking for. And it says we're trying to find the number. So let's go ahead and set that as our variable. X equals the number. All right, now we have a couple answer choices here. And when we need to solve for X, we need to create an equation. So let's just try to maybe understand here, based on these words, how we can kind of represent that. So when a number is divided by five, well, obviously a number being divided by five is gonna be represented like that. It says the result. So what that means is that is equal to. So when it says the result, we can say, all right, a number divided by five is going to be equal to seven more than the number. So if we have the number and we have seven more, then we're just going to be adding seven to it. So we can say X plus seven. Now, all we simply need to do is understand how to solve. So a couple things we need to make sure that we're doing or understand that we have is we have X's on both sides. And that gets pretty tricky for a lot of students, especially when we need to get, when we need to isolate or solve for the X. A lot of times we say, you know, get the X's, you know, to the same side, but I want to do something first before I do that. And what I want to do is get rid of this division. I don't like fractions, right? So I understand to get rid of this divided by five, I need to multiply by something that, that five is going to divide into. And simply put, I can just multiply by a five on both sides, right? Because if I multiply by five, particularly a five over one, five divides into the five, which gives me a one, one times X is just going to give me an X. Just remember, whatever you do on one side, you have to make sure you do on the other side. And notice what I'm doing. I am inserting in parentheses. Why am I inserting parentheses? Because it's not five times X, it's not five times seven, it's five times X plus seven. So I need to make sure I multiply that five times both of them. So on this left side, I just get a one times X, so it's just give me an X. And then over here, I'm going to get a five X plus a 35. Now it's a lot easier for me to get my X's over to the same side. So I'll subtract a five X on both sides. And therefore I get a negative four X is equal to a 35. And now I can simply, let's see, divide by negative four on both sides. And X is going to give me a negative 35 over four, which is answer B.